us here. We're just getting some updates now on this breaking news story about the uh, Russian Defense Ministry plane that went missing. Uh, Artie's Emily Sue with us in the studio here. We, we understand that the plane fell off the radar about 20 minutes after it took off from the Russian city of Sochi. You have updates, Emily. What, what do you know? Well, Rory, the Ministry of Defense, they've just confirmed that they found wreckage of the plane, parts of the main body of the aircraft, um, just about 1.5 kilometers off the coast of Sochi in the water, uh, about uh, 50 meters deep. Uh, they found the wreckage of the plane, so we can now pretty much confirm that the plane indeed has crashed, and it's crashed about 1.5 kilometers off the coast of Sochi. Another piece of information that we can confirm is that uh, the investigation committee, they have launched a criminal investigation into this matter. Mm. But... Uh, uh, that's all we know so far, the latest developments uh, as for what happened to this, to this plane. So a criminal investigation has been launched. A debris field has been witnessed in the Black Sea, just south of Sochi. As we understand, the plane disappeared from the radar about 20 minutes after launch. I is it a deep area, that part of the Black Sea? Do we know what kind of depth we're talking about where, where the plane has been found? The initial reports are saying that it's about between 50 to 70 meters, appro approximately uh, at that depth. All so right. So all things considered, that's not an, an impossible depth for rescuers to get to in the grand scheme of things. Um, but we understand debris has been sighted, the plane yes. located at least 50 meters underwater, mm -hmm. just off the coast of Sochi there in the Black Sea. Um, what, what can you tell us about the people on board, Emily? Well, what I can tell you also is that it's confirmed that there's 91 people on board. The plane has the capacity to carry 180, so mm. we're talking about half of the plane has been filled. 83 passengers and eight crew members, and of those passengers, we know for sure that there were nine journalists mm. on board, and also some musicians from the Army Choir uh, Alexandrov Ensemble is also was also on the plane, and they were on their way towards the Latakia Air Base to take part in new, a New Year's concerts, sort of New Year celebrations to entertain the Russian soldiers stationed there at that uh, Kamaimim Air Base in Latakia. Mm. Um, so that's what we know about the people on board now. As I've said, only half of the plane, uh, the capacity has been filled. Well, our news team here at RT International are working fervently to get all the details we can on this. Uh, information still streaming in here on this network. We understand alleged uh, personal belongings of passengers who are on that missing plane. Personal belongings of the passengers are being found about three miles off the Sochi coast in the Black Sea. Again, the plane has been found, according to authorities, about uh, the plane found about one and a half kilometers off the coast of Sochi at a depth of at least 50 meters. Uh, now, and now, Emily, we understand that there are, uh, among, among the debris uh, on the surface, uh, there are apparently uh, people seeing, well, personal belongings of the passengers on board floating on the surface there. Um, well, that's about the latest update we have on this. Emily Sue, don't go anywhere. Stick around. We need to, we need to get more from you in just a few moments. Uh, the uh, Tupolev 154 has been a workhorse of the Russian aviation industry. It's been in the skies since the mid-60s. Its maximum flight distance are 4,000 kilometers and uh, can hold up to 180 people. So it, it, it's a more than capable plane. Ultimately, it being called a workhorse. It has been in operation now since the 60s. But as, as we do like to mention here, <laughs> one of the key points to understand about this plane is that since 1968, there have been 39 fatal incidents with this type of Tupolev.